Coming up, I'll show you a very simple trick to make your hot dogs taste like they came right off the grill. But first, I'm going to show you how to make these crisscross cuts so they look like they came off the grill. It's very easy to make these crisscross cuts that simulate grill marks by using a small knife and a couple of inexpensive wooden spoons. I say inexpensive wooden spoons, the kind you get down at the dollar store, because the diameter of the handle is small enough that you can cut just deep enough into the hot dog. If you get expensive wooden spoons, the handle's likely to be too thick or too big around. Obviously, you can do it without using wooden spoons, but my experience has been you wind up cutting too deep and then the hot dog falls apart. All you do is cut the hot dogs at a 45 degree angle, flip them over, and cut the other way at a 45 degree angle. This allows the hot dogs to open up a little bit when they're cooking, and that allows the ketchup, mustard, relish, or whatever you're using to fall into the cracks and flavor the hot dog. In addition to enhancing the appearance of the hot dog, the crisscross cuts serve another purpose. It's an opportunity for us to flavor the inside of the hot dog. We're going to use liquid smoke, but for those folks who like hot stuff, now you can add it. We're going to put a little bit of water in a dish, and then we're going to add about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of liquid smoke. We'll let the hot dog sit in the water for about 10 minutes or so. The smoky water will seep into the cracks of the hot dog and flavor the inside so that it tastes just like it spent some time on a charcoal grill. While the hot dogs are soaking in the smoke water, you can go ahead, turn the air fryer on so it can preheat to 350 degrees. If you want to avoid having to clean your air fryer, you can put some aluminum foil in the bottom and in the basket before you put it on preheat. I use these pre-cut foil sheets that are used in the restaurant industry. I get them down at Sam's Club and they are about one cent per sheet. When the hot dogs are fully cooked, we're gonna put them back in the air fryer in the bun along with some cheese. And that's where this aluminum foil really comes in handy because it completely eliminates the hassle of cleaning up burnt cheese. It'll take about five minutes to cook the hot dogs when they're in the air fryer by themselves. But after you put the bun in with the cheese, make sure you don't walk away because it's going to take less than 60 seconds to make them toasty on the outside and cheesy. Mm-mm-mm.